Hello, welcome to this uh, lecture video. So this is the continuation of the discussion on unit fraction table of Egyptian. So I am teacher Melai. So let us consider one particular example, like for example, 6 all over 7. So in modern times, we know that 6 all over 7 is equal to 1 7 plus 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 1, 7. However, in the case of Egyptians, this is not the correct answer. So for them, 6 all over 7 is equal to 1 half plus 1 fourth plus 1 over 14 plus 1 over 28. So how did they arrive at this answer? So the method or the method that they use is the usual method that they do. If you still remember in our previous uh, topics, Egyptians and um, doubling and having. So that's the traditional method that they use. So let us uh, figure out how did they arrive at uh, this uh, value by answering it using the method that, that they use. So for instance, so our objective is uh, to answer 6 all over 7. So they'll start with, of course, you have 1, and that's uh, 7. 1 um, divided by 2 is 1 half. So 7 over 2 is uh, 3.5, and 3.5 is 3 plus 1 half. 1 half divided by 2 is uh, 1 fourth. So 3 all over 2 is 1.5. So that is 1 plus one half, one half divided by two is one fourth. Now, if they will continue answering this by considering, for instance, one fourth is divided by two is one eighth, one divided by two is one half, plus one half divided by two is one fourth, one fourth divided by two is one eighth. So it seems that it's already an ending that you cannot uh, figure out how to arrive at 6. So if you will continue. So we will stop until here. So let's cross out this part. And instead of um, continuing dividing it by 2, we're going to think of a number that when we multiply it to 7, the result is the 1. So that is 1 over 7. Because 1 7 of 7 is equal to 1. So 1 7 divided by 2, again, we're going to do the halving. So 1 7 over 2 is 1 14. So this is 1 all over 2 is 1 half. 1 all over uh, 1, uh, 1 half or rather multi um, 1 14 divided by 2 is 1 over 28 and one half is equal to one fourth. So next, you're going to locate now what are the values that will result to six. So what values will um result to six? That is three plus one half, one plus one half plus one fourth, plus one half plus one fourth. So if you're going to add that, the result is equal to Six. So, which means the answer for 6 over 7 is uh, 1 half plus 1 fourth plus 1 over 14 plus 1 over 28. So, this is the equivalent value of 6 over 7. So 6 over 7 is equal to 1 half plus 1 fourth plus 1 over 14 plus 1 all over 28. Now, and their effort to determine what is the general rule used for them to come up with the unit fraction table. So the mathematicians are trying to discover what are the patterns involved. And some of this includes the following. So, for example, uh, we have the fraction 2 all over n. So, this is the, their ta table. It's 2 all over n. So, one possible rule is 2 over 3k, where 
it is equal to 1 to k plus 1 over 6k, which means that they figure out which of the um, odd numbers are divisible by 3 or the denominator which are divisible by 3. And it can be written as 1 all over 2k plus 1 all over 6k. So an example for this is the 2 all over 15 found in the, the table. So 15 is divisible by 3. So it's actually 3 times 5. So the k here is 5. So this can be written as 2, 3, k is a 5. So that's the 5. And this is equal to 1, 2 times our k is 5 plus 1 over 6, our k is 5, which will give you an answer of 110 plus 1 all over 30. 2 all over 15 is equal to 110 plus 1 all over 30. And this is what is written in the unit fraction table. Next. Um, how about uh, the number, for example, 2 all over 19. So the still, the mathematicians are trying to explain why 2 all over 19 is equal to 1 all over 12 plus 1 over 76 plus 1 all over 114 in the, the table and not 1 over 12 plus 1 over 57 plus 1 over 228. So for some, um, they found some patterns that, that the Egyptian mathematicians use, but there are also um, unit fractions that they do not know what's the reason. So just like for 2 all over 19, the one that is in the table is 1 all over 12 plus 1 all over 76 plus 1 all over 114. And we know that 2 all over 19 is also equal to 1 over 12 plus 1 over 57 plus 1 all over 2 to 8. And as our, um, the guiding principle is state, is stated, as, is, as it is stated, it is, uh, they, they prefer lower denominator. So it could be that the reason is because, of course, the highest denominator here is 114 compared with Two to eight, so they prefer to um one twelve plus one over seventy six plus the one all over one one four. So with this, actually, um, they came into conclusion that there is no definite rule. So they do not have a definite rule. But uh, aside from that. They continued, of course, their exploration and they also found that, that in 2 all over 101, this is equal to 1 all over 101 plus 1 all over 202 plus 1 all over 303 plus 1 all over 606 and the table which follows also the pattern 2n is equal to 1n plus 1 all over 2n, plus 1 all over 3n, plus 1 all over 6n. So this is the pattern being followed in the 2 all over 101. They also notice that this pattern can also be used for numbers like 2 thirds, and this is equal to 1 third, plus 1 6, plus 1 9, plus 1 18, and so on. But they notice in the table that they only use this pattern exclusively for n is equal to 101, even if it is also applicable to two thirds, to two fifths, to two sevenths, or to two ninths, and all other numbers. So they just use it exclusively for n is equal to 101.